Hello everyone, my name is Blue, and today we'll be going over some posts from Malicious Compliance. Sometimes, you gotta follow the rules too well to get your point across. I can't order a drink you're advertising and have open ingredients for? Fine. Not sure if it fits in here or there's a more suitable sub, but here goes. I'm in the UK and was with friends at one of the main coffee shop brands. I won't say which one, but it's similar to cost a lot. It was a few days after Christmas last year, which is important for later. When I was served by the barista, it was obvious that I was going to have an experience. This guy acted haughtily and spoke to people with a sneer and came across like he considered himself a prince amongst men. He had a long floppy fringe that he kept brushing out of his contempt-filled eyes every few seconds. He clearly didn't want to be there or deal with the likes of me. Awkward for both of us. It was a two-man team, so a barista would take the order and make the drink. So he had to make whatever anyone ordered. It was very early January, and the shop still has advertisements up for Christmas seasonal drinks. I'm a fan of uncommon flavored coffee or hot chocolate, and said shop was advertising a Black Forest hot chocolate. Black Forest is basically dark chocolate, black cherry, and cream. I ordered one, and the barista looked me up and down and sneered, oh, that's a Christmas drink. Me. Yes. Barista. It's after Christmas. Me. Yes. Barista, smirking. So, I can't make you a Christmas drink. Me. But you're advertising it, and you've still got the ingredients open behind the counter. This drink is basically a shot of the flavored sauce, hot chocolate, and cream on top. It's not that onerous or taxing to make compared to a normal hot chocolate. It's literally a normal hot chocolate with flavor syrup put in. Barista, sighing and rolling his eyes. It's not available right now. I wondered if he was being a tool for some unknown superiority complex, was being lazy and didn't want to make this beverage, or if there really was some directive. So I threw up a weather balloon question. Me. Okay, fine. In that case, would I be able to buy a single shot of flavored syrup, please? It says they are 35p on the board. Barista, dismissively. <sighs> I don't see why not. Me. Can I order a shot of the black cherry syrup there, but in a medium-sized takeaway cup? Barista tuts and silently turns, gets a shot of said syrup in a cup for me, and contemptuously places it in front of me. Anything else? He sneers. Cue my malicious compliance. I slide the cup back to him and say, Can you make a medium hot chocolate in this cup for me, please? And stir it well before you put the whipped cream on top? Barista grimaces and realizes that I've followed his instructions completely and still got myself a Black Forest hot chocolate. I stand and watch him make it, which he does with the most reluctant and bitter energy imaginable. For the record, it was pretty good. I mean, snobby barista aside, Black Forest hot chocolate sounds absolutely delicious. Why would you just limit that to one part of the season? Make that an all-the-time drink. Sales would be insane. Was told that I was too uneducated to perform my job. When I was a teaching assistant, I used to work as a substitute teacher for very unruly classes, aka the classes licensed teachers wouldn't accept. I had full responsibility, worked all hours, and my numbers showed that my class was making great progress. I just had some bad luck that caused me to not finish teaching college at that time. Because I didn't have my license, my boss came to me one day and talked about how I was actually too uneducated and inexperienced to teach, and that I must have had someone telling me what to do behind me. I told her I didn't. But she didn't believe me and told me she'll be watching me like an eagle 
to see if I was fraudulent, like changing grades and stuff. I never did anything to my students. I'm not a cruel person, and I didn't want anyone implying that I wasn't doing my job as expected. They all got to the next year with scores higher than we would have expected beforehand. But I started to behave like a beginner student teacher to my boss only. Ask really stupid questions like, how can I make my class quiet? I'm really too uneducated to know, so can you please help this teacher out by showing it? Knowing fully well that my formerly disruptive class wouldn't ever listen to her. I called her for everything. A parent wanting to talk to me. A kid who fell down and needed a band-aid. Anything. I made sure to tell her I was too uneducated and inexperienced to handle such a task and I needed to observe a true pro work. My colleagues got in on it too. They started pointing out everything I wasn't allowed to do, but expected to do, and told my boss that she was being very fraudulent by expecting me to do so. In the meantime, I was discussing gamification, the need for programming and English in primary school showing older colleagues new teaching methods and digital assistance. All the goodies. After six weeks, she was done. She called me to her office and apologized to me for saying that I was too uneducated and inexperienced, and how she was renewing my contract and got some budget to pay for half of my studies. I was happy to tell her I got a new job that would pay everything to get me my license and I would get full creative freedom without being watched like an eagle. This was two years ago. I almost have my license and I still work at that awesome school that hired me after the allegations of being uneducated and inexperienced at my old job. I even got a reward and a trophy from the board for doing exceptional work and obtaining goals with my students. Well, just another story of don't know what you got till it's gone. Boss lady just assumed that because OP didn't have a degree, she wasn't capable of doing the job. Incorrect. How to break a dress code. I broke the dress code at my last firm because of shoes. I got called to the carpet for wearing black sketchers to work, so I started coming in every day dressed to the nines. We're talking cufflinks, high quality silk ties, gold face metal band watch, pocket squares, and some of the finest bourbon wingtips you ever laid eyes on. I got tailored dress shirts and custom suits cut for freak's sake. It wasn't cheap. I did this every day while making sure to casually point out that the very managers who complained about me were wearing Keds in the office. This went on for a few months. The interns and staff started dressing like me. We started comparing notes on tie knots and pocket square folds. We got high and tight haircuts with straight razor shaves. We bought badger hair shaving brushes and eucalyptus shaving soap. The partners started getting embarrassed as we were dressing considerably nicer than they cared to. They had a big meeting and declared the entire dress code dead. Jeans, t-shirts, flip-flops, all fair game, unless you had a client meeting. I guess you could call this a uh, formal protest against the dress code. <laughs> uh, I'll see myself out. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in. Please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And we'll catch you next time.